Charlie. When we come back, a Connecticut father sings a song to the Gulf soldiers, including his own son. We'll meet this very proud dad after that break. Stay with us, please. A lot of people, and for one Coventry father, it stirred up a song. Norman Schwarzkopf was just one of the people who was touched by Ron Anderson's song, and he let him know it. Anderson's 22-year-old son, Troy, is a member of the 143rd Military Police Division in Windsor Locks. He was called up over the holidays, and 12 hours later, his dad had written, He's My Son. That little boy draw, he's a soldier, he's a man, and I'm his dad. that very proud dad who joins us in the studio. I love the words, Ron. He's my son. I like that. And I'm his dad. Yes. So, you know the phrase that gets to me is when you said, I watched him pack up his things and it made me sad. Did you think right then, I'm going to write about this experience, or were you just sort of going with the flow of the moment? Within, within a day or so of that occurrence, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. I decided it was something I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I write songs anyway, kind of as a hobby. Well, I was going to ask you that. Was this the first song that you've ever mm -hmm. written? It's not. And I don't like to stereotype because for obvious reasons I hate stereotypes, but I think when most people think about parents writing songs, they think of mothers who mm -hmm. express their emotions. We've even, even interviewed a couple of mothers who have written about the war. You don't mm -hmm. necessarily think about fathers all the time. Was this tough for you to do? No, no? not at all. It was, it was compelling. It was something I really needed to do at the time. Mm -hmm. How did it make you feel after you wrote it? <clears throat> Very good. Fulfilled. I had an opportunity to say something and put it on that tape to give to my son to take with him mm -hmm. that I thought was uh, going to be helpful to him. Now, how did Storm and Norman hear about it? He seems to be everybody's favorite these yes, days. He's certainly our favorite. Yeah. Well, I sent us a copy, a number of copies of the song. I wished to have it played on Armed Forces Radio. Mm -hmm. So I pursued that channel through the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. And among the, the things that I decided to do was send a copy directly to Central Command in Riyadh to General Norman Schwarzkopf. Mm -hmm. And I did that. Mm -hmm. And uh, lo and behold, yesterday I received a letter, and it related to the song, and it uh, mentioned my son, and it mentioned that he liked the song, and that uh, it reflected the feelings of a father. Yeah, see, what I like about this letter, because this isn't one of those little form jobbies that they send That's out. That's true. I mean, this is clear. It, it, I'll read it briefly. Thank you for your letter in the song, He's My Son. Your song captures a father's feelings when his son goes off to war. You can be extremely proud of the service of Troy and his fellow soldiers. I hope the day comes soon when you and Troy will be reunited. Till that day arrives, you can rest assured that his safety and well-being are my number one priority. Again, thank you for the letter. So, I mean, he has clearly heard your song and yes. clearly seen your letter. Yes. So what did you think when you opened it up? Does it say on the outside, Norman Schwarzkopf on the letter? On the return address, it, it said something, well, I have, I have the envelope. Just here. happen to have it here. <laughs> happen to have it. Commander-in-Chief, United States Central Command, Riyadh. Uh -huh. So it wasn't just another piece of junk mail. Yeah, so you open it up and you see this. And what did you think? Did you ever expect that you would hear from him? Halfway, yes. You Halfway did? I did. I would be he, he seems the type, though. A couple of months have gone by. Yeah. A couple of months have gone by. And uh, when I received it, I, w I was very happy with it. It showed me that he has a great respect for his people mm -hmm. and for the, the parents and the loved ones of his people. This was the impression I had after reading it. Mm -hmm. It seemed to kind of bear out everything we've thought about That's you know, right. the bear. That, yeah, you're absolutely right. And what about Troy? Where is he? He's in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. He's I in mean, Saudi Arabia. Well, I mean, I know he's in Saudi Arabia. I guess a better question is, when is he coming home? Have you talked to him, and what's his status? We've talked That's to what him. I meant to say, Ron. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. We have talked to him a number of times. There um, he is on the screen. There's your son. Yes. That's we, him, right? That's him. Okay, go ahead. We've talked to him a number of times. It appears as though... He'll be coming back, hopefully in the first part of May, mm -hmm. and we're really hoping that happens. Uh, his brothers, Eric and Corey, mm -hmm. have taken this kind of hard, uh, certainly, and, and Corey's going to be graduating, or Eric is going to be graduating, I'm sorry, senior high school, mm -hmm. in June. Yeah. And Eric very much would like to have his brother here for his graduation. I often wonder about parents who had uh, sons and daughters over there, how you got through this very difficult time, because you are sort of in limbo, hoping and worrying and wondering what they're doing. The support group for the 143rd Military Police Company mm -hmm. has been probably the greatest thing that's, that's really happened to all the families involved. I know there are other units with support groups. We meet throughout the state. We have various meetings, mm -hmm. uh, very supportive, very caring people, that sort of thing, and uh, including the Adjutant General Goreski's office. 
has gotten involved in this with his I his know homecoming. You know, yeah, I John know he's quite a guy. He's been to a number of the meetings around the state. Mm -hmm. Very supportive. I think his office has probably been tested for the first time under these circumstances That's right. in many years and come through with flying colors. Well, we thank you very much for sharing the letter with us and your song as well. What are you going to do with that letter? I would frame it if I were We're certainly going to frame it. Are you going yes, to? Yes, it's going to go on the wall. Very nice. His wall. His wall. Thank yes. you very much for joining us. Appreciate it. What is it called? Out processing. Okay.